We will now set the settings for the solution portion under solution methods. We'll change the scheme to coupled. We're also going to change the pressure to standard. And we're going to enable pseudo transient and and high order term relaxation. So there are a lot of knobs that one can play with in Fluent and getting a full grasp on each of them can require a lot of time and effort. So for now just trust that these settings will increase the chances of getting a solutions to converge and even converge faster than the default settings. Now under monitors let's edit the residuals so click edit right here and we're gonna input 1 times 10 to the negative 6 so 1 e negative 6 for each of these fields and then uh, click OK We're also going to monitor the integral static pressure on the blade surface to help us determine when our solution has converged. So we're going to set this up right here under surface monitors. So click on uh, create. Um, this name is fine. So now let's just check on plot and write. And then select the blade surface you can see here that it will monitor the integral static pressure on the blade. So click OK. Now in solution initialization we'll choose standard initialization then we're going to choose to compute from the inlet. Now in run calculations we're going to change the number of iterations to 1500. And this is the number of iterations that I found that can achieve a reasonably converged solution. In the verification and validation section, we're going to look at the effects of increasing the number of iterations on our solution. So finally, we're ready to start our calculation. We need to first initialize our solution and then click Calculate. Okay, then we'll click on Calculate. So here you can choose to look at either the residuals or the static pressure and here you're gonna see a lot of information um, so this one in particular is gonna show you the approximate time that it's gonna take you to solve this um, the simulation so it should take you between 30 minutes and a few hours depending on the number of cores that you're using. So yeah, just sit back and relax and uh, your computer is currently going to solve a set of 1.6 million algebraic equations at each iteration for you.